This is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing primarily with a pronoun question here. So you'll notice in the split we have whom in the original, um, we have comma whom, we've got whose with an apostrophe s, and we have just who. Now, what, which one do we want? Um, now, the who in the who versus whom debate, um, these are two different pronouns that are used in different cases. Who is used in the case of subjects, and whom is used in the case of objects. And you, so you can look up what subjects and objects are, and you can use that as your way of figuring this out if you like. Personally, I use a shortcut, um, which is I try replacing the word who and whom with he and him. You can also use she and her, if you like. Um, so if I try to take out the word whom and replace it with um, him, for example, the sentence will not work. Comte de Sivrac, him in, 19, him in 1791 was seen riding. That doesn't work. But if I try putting the word he in there, he in, 1970, he in 1791 was seen riding. That works, right? If if the in 19 if in the in 1791 is confusing you, you could just say you could just read it without that. He was seen riding versus him was seen riding. Um, so the fact that he works means that we want to be dealing with this column. This is a subject, so you want to use who. That gets rid of the first to answer choices. It also gets rid of the third one, by the way, but for a slightly different reason. The apostrophe S is meant to show possession. So you would only use that if you were if the word following the whose was going to be a thing that belonged to the who. So if you might say um, whose um, wallet. And that's not what we want. So get rid of that. And the correct answer is the fourth one.